Okay, uh, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and a peace and salute to the brothers who's doing the work and teaching the correct doctrine and to the hopeful elect that's pushing the work. And out here, this is Ashan um, coming at you from the Baltimore branch of GMS and uh, today I just came across this is going to be quick because I came across a video that was super spiritual and um, it was not going to be very long but I had to get this one in and um, I ain't going to have too many scriptures uh, on this topic because I just wanted to bring the video up because the video is very very spiritual and um, what it's showing is, is, is well, you'll, hey, this, this is, this is a spiritual video. I'm gonna just let the video play, uh, and I hope this is edifying, brothers. Ain't that something? Very spiritual. So the whole time these two antelopes or deer are fighting each other, like the um, title says, when in fighting distracts you from the bigger picture, their enemy was right there watching, waiting to devour them, but they so busy, you know, fighting each other. This is spiritual. This this could uh, apply to so many things that's going on in Israel. But one thing I want to say is that all these other camps coming up against GMS, they're so worried about us. They don't see, and a line represents, uh, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel. But on another note, uh, it's representing, uh, you know, just for this video, it's representing the enemy. And the enemy, say we the antelope, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the deer. And the enemy, the adversary is out keeping an eye on us but the whole thing we're not even paying attention to the the enemy we 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 fight each other that could apply to uh how dudes in the hood be just killing each other and all that and esau just you know watching you guys kill each other and then after y'all did all the dirty work he comes in and swoop and get the victory you know, just like what happened right here. This is very spiritual because the whole time these these ones, they got out. But the one that's mainly fighting, they got devoured. The one that got caught, he was so busy fighting within that he got devoured by the enemy. You know what I mean? Even though that was the enemy at the time. But that's how Israel got get caught up a lot, you know, and especially these other camps. Uh, like IUIC, they so busy worried about GMS. This G, they act like we the worstest thing that happened to the earth, and they not even worried about Esau. Esau just gets a pass. But this was going to happen. This was happening in IUIC right now. You know, they they fighting us. But look, the white man is just going to come right on them and devour them. The enemy. <laughs> Because he gets a pass, you know, even though that's going to happen to a lot of us anyway, because that's uh, if it's prophesied for it to happen to us, if it's in our will, you know, but that's the main, that's the focus, you know what I mean? And uh, I found a scripture, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 30, it says, in vain. Have I smitten your children? They received no correction. Your own sword 
have devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. And that's what happened right there. You know? They was so busy. They was they was fighting each other. And a lion came right in and, and, and swooped him. And, and got what he wanted. Got got his victory. You know? That could that could be applied so many, so many ways, just like the day of the Lord, you know. For the day of the Lord of the Lord, Yahweh Washim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. You know? And they don't, they don't realize the day of the Lord is going to be judgment. And a lot of camps like IUIC and, you know, they ain't the only camps, but I'm just using them as, as an example. They think this, they getting married and they think it's all lovey-dovey. They not even prepared for, they don't even bring out martial law or uh, Jacob's trouble, you know. Nate and all them, they getting married and, uh, you know. They think they're already in the kingdom just by the way they dress, you know. Behold, the day of the Lord, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, but with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You know, so that's not a good, that, that don't sound like a, a nice time to me, you know. That's that's a cruel time we living in. And it's coming upon us as 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 we speak. It says the day the, the day of the Lord is near. And they acting like they, they want to stay here. They act like they want to we're gonna be here another hundred years, you know, a hundred another uh Lord willing, we out of here this year or next year, you know. But they 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 treating it like we 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 gonna be here for another 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I don't plan on growing old in this uh in this system of things. You know? This is a wicked ass place, man. And in any Israelite that came into the truth and 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 following the doctrine and, and got that mindset, then hey, you 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 need to do some praying and, and, and get that demon up off you. You know? Because you, you ain't supposed to be in a um the mindset of staying in this wicked ass place. You know? Every day I wake up, I, I just is I I think the kingdom is is, you know, Lord willing, the Lord have mercy on me and the brothers and the hopefully elect, you know. That's 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 all that matters is the elect. You know? And they carrying it like they carrying it like we're gonna be here a long a, a long time, you know. And that's all they and they it, it's like they 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 love to talk about GMS and you know other camps camps pushing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah pushing the name, you know. But that's what's going at that's what, exactly what's going to happen to to them. That's what's going to happen to them. You know, fighting us the whole time. You fighting us. You know, Esau gonna come right down on him like a like a lion. You know. Uh, yeah, J Jacob's trouble. Uh, Psalms Psalms twenty and one. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of Yahweh of Jacob defend thee. Where is that scripture? Okay. No, 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 no. Salaki. Uh. Okay, to the chief Psalms forty one and one. Is that it? Okay, to the to the chief. Musician, the Psalm of David, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble, the name of Yahweh of Jacob, defend thee. 
I'm going into Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know. So that's 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 the mindset we should be in right now. And uh basically I wanted to just bring that out this video out because it was very, very spiritual. You know, look at this. They ain't even see him coming. That's how the day of the Lord gonna be. You ain't gonna see it coming. Look. <laughs> I hope this was Elifino. Till again, uh I would say uh wanna give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Shalom.